All right, shall we finally do the TikToks? Bergy and Nudibranch, one of the only sea slug species that does well in captivity. Dude, Nudibranches are so cool. There was like a, a big Twitter debate last year about what was better, Nudibranches or um, fish. And there was some debates. And honestly, as a, a vehement fish lover, some of the Nudibranch ar arguments kind of convinced me. Nudibranches branches are really fucking cute. This is, of course, sped up. They're much, like, slower. But there are some crazy-looking and cool-ass Nudibranches. branches. I've seen some cool shit. They could convince me. They could convince me. Especially, like, the sea hare. Or whatever that one floating one is. I don't even remember. They're just super cool. Hi, everybody. Ah, so classic. In the eel pit. I just got back from another trip. You can look at my other videos. For oh my god. More. I thought these this piece of wood and this piece of wood were eels. And I was like, holy fuck, you got giant eels. What did I miss? On that. But my brother just fed the eels last night. Is that night, a goldfish? Um, before I got home. So today it is actually some of the other eels Boy. we don't normally see. Just because all the usually the ones that are first to eat are already full by this point. So right here we have Elissa coming up and uh, taking a big clump. Elisa. Today I'm feeding them shrimp. I do like to change up the diet sometimes. Then this here is tequila. Been a while since we've seen him. Elissa Tequila. Okay, the names um, aren't bad. I do want to kind of train them to come up on land. I've seen some crazy videos of uh, New Zealand longfin eels that feed on land in front of people. Then uh, here's our first good look at bathtub in a long while. He's bathtub? the smallest eel. How are, the and he is <laughs> How are you going to have your first two eels be fucking eel, eel puns and then the third eel is just named bathtub? You fucking had Elisa Tequila and then bathtub? Absolutely adorable. Little guy taking his chunk of food under his cave. Then uh, this big guy is Ely Dan. What? He's uh, one of the larger of the medium sized eels. Super cool. Coming up. And then as the as I, the longer I feed, the more and more eels start coming up. Then uh, this is actually from a few days ago. This is just uh, some of the other eels. That's a uh, Neil on the right. And then I believe Neil. this is Shaquille on the left. <laughs> what? All of them are eel puns. Neil, Shaquille, Eliza, Tequila, and then there's just bathtub. That uh actually comes up and bites me. But uh, it never hurts when they bite. Are those mosquito fish on the surface? Are there, I wonder if the feeder fish are specifically for the eels, or are they just to add more to the ecosystem? I don't know. Yeah, I've said it before. I think it's like a cool idea. I just wish that it wasn't on gravel. Just doesn't feel like gravel is the is the way to go in that system. That's all. Pretty much my only gripe at this point. Before you ship your goldfish, make sure to add some blue food coloring in there just to make it a little more fun for the fish. Just joking guys, today I'm gonna show you how I ship what? a live goldfish in the mail. Step number one, get a bag meant for fish transportation. Step number two, fill the bag with some tank water. Step number three, get the fish you wanna ship. This is a little mini chad, we're sending a mini chad today. Step number four, get some methylene blue. Step number five, add two to three drops of the methylene blue into the bag with the fish. This just helps prevent nitrite Toxicity helps with oxygen uptake and general disease prevention. Step six, twist the bag up with as what much- What diseases are they gonna get alone in a bag? People really just be dosing methylene blue out here. Like self-medicating fucking methylene blue. What purpose does it have? It, there's, there's nothing, it, you can't just get- Methylene blue might help with like parasites or viruses. But if those are in the bag, those are in the bag. Like, you're not going to get a virus while in the bag. It doesn't make any sense. Is he spinning it? Much air as possible <laughs> whilst- <laughs> The poor goldfish is going, whoa, 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 whoa. Still allowing the bag to be small enough to fit vertically in the box. Step seven, tightly rubber band the top of the bag twice. Step eight, bag the fish again, but make sure the orientation of the new bag is perpendicular to the bag the fish is already in, so the bottom of the bag has no sharp corners once it's all set in place. Step nine, place in an insulated box for thermal stability and general protection. Step 10. Yeah, I did this. I worked at, a, if you guys didn't know, I worked at a fish store when I was younger. When I was like, 14 there was a fish store that was near me and i just like loved fish so much and i just wanted to be involved and i begged to work there like every time i would go i would beg the owner to let me work at this fish store and after like two years he finally let me do it and i worked there for like three weeks and then quit <laughs> because 
I just had to do shit like this, like just menial labor. Like I didn't get to actually, I, for some reason as a kid, I was like, oh, I'll get to talk to the people who come in about the fish and give them advice. And it was like, no, you have to scrub the algae off of the lid of this tank. Also, it's sharp and you're probably going to get cut. Also, he paid me in cash under the table. So I never even legally had a job there. Me, no. I'm filming him in case he falls in. Sunfish. Let me put him. Here, what? Well, I mean, come on, fish. Are you dead or are you alive? Like, if you're <laughs> if you're alive, go away. Yeah, go away. He's dead again. <laughs> oh, look at him. He looks like. Him. <laughs> okay, the fucking dying sunfish is all <laughs> awfully rude. Awfully rude to say go away. Braxton. Okay, some dead anchovies. Oh, no. Uh, okay, yep, no, that's just, don't just, you can't just put dead fish in little installments. You can't just do this. Even with the glue, this is gonna smell bad. Oh, DIY, why are you doing this? In loving memory, Tina, you named them, Eric? Hopefully Tina and Eric are the fish and not people that you are making this for. No, don't put it. Where are you going? Why? 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 This is a curse. I feel like I've been cursed. Something horrible has happened. Why did I have to witness this? Orca. You just jump back from the orca. I heard some of the noise. <laughs> no. Go straight. Marry you if you DIY this for me? You know, if the marriage proposal you want is someone putting two anchovies in plexiglass and then weighing them, I don't know what to tell you. You might need to lower your standards. <laughs> I can't wait for some archaeologists 500 years from now to find that and be absolutely baffled. The concept of some like futuristic archaeologist finding this and like trying to infer things like what if this is the only thing that survives of our culture, you know? What if aliens are trying to understand us and they see a fucking plexiglass with two dead anchovies and it says, rest in peace, Eric and Tina. <laughs> what if this is our legacy? Fuck, dude. Awfully epic music for a pot of orcas just hanging out with a with a boat. I mean, yep, epic music for a, a pot of orcas just swimming along with the boat. Cool, orcas are sick. Does this hurt the fish, Luke? Does it hurt the goldfish? You're cutting off its face. No. I've answered this question so many times, but here's a full video dedicated to that question so it clears things up for good. First, notice how there is no blood as I'm cutting into this facial tissue. Tissues that okay, receive well, little not... to no blood flow generally do not support many nerves. Think of your nails, think of your calluses. If you cut into them, there's no blood. However, there still is some pain when I do some deeper cuts. If the fish has a big reaction to a certain cut, I know it's a little more painful. If the fish has little to no reaction after a certain cut, I know it's less painful. I don't need the fish to verbally tell me if it's in pain or not i can tell and even though it's generally not that painful of a procedure i still use a numbing agent called eugenol to slow the fish down and numb them to a degree notice how mr clean basically looks like he's dead before i start the procedure that's the eugenol at work but i tend to underdose this to be safe because if i overdose it it'll kill the fish overall there are some points in the it's crazy because you could just instead not purchase inbred goldfish <laughs> i mean you could just not deal with goldfish that are that fucked up by inbreeding just like not support that part of the aquarium industry because jesus it's like the same thing with parrot cichlids like that fish is so fucked up it's like pugs too like this fish is the fish equivalent of a pug like this fish is so fucked up <laughs> there's just no reason to, for this fish to exist humans made a mistake <laughs> this just, just should not exist but yes you can trim them there's a shark in there 
That's crazy. There's another one! What? <laughs> oh, that's so <laughs> I'm fucking driving by that on the highway. Okay, that's actually kind of sick. There's a shark in there. Imagine it was just like a, like a digital image, like a TV or something. And they're tricking everyone they drive by. Not actual sharks. There it goes! Ah! That was pretty convincing, though. That, that There's a shark in that truck. I believe it. I believe there's a shark in that truck. I gave this fish the experience of a lifetime. Okay. This surely won't end with it getting eaten, right? Dude, it fell for so long. My sense of my depth perception on that was awful. I thought the fish was going to land like way out here and it like barely made it past the rocks. Did anyone else think oh, I'm like, like, oh, this whole time I'm like, okay, it's going to hit the water now. 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 And it fucking landed right along the rocks. Bro, my depth perception is off. Pro tip here. When you get an entire jellyfish tentacle on your arm, if you pull on it and yank it off, that whole joker going to sting the crap out of you. But if you take it and you peel it off like that, it won't sting you. Because basically on a jellyfish tentacle, they have all these itty bitty teeny tiny little barbs that have the toxin that makes it hurt. And so if you pull on it, you stick in all those little barbs in your skin. But, but you he did pull on it. He just pulled on it slowly. I don't understand the difference. He pulled on it just the same. He just did it slowly instead of yanking it. Okay, sure. You know what? I'll trust the jellyfish guy. I don't interact with jellyfish. He can be the, he's the fucking jellyfish guy.